Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a patch or how to create a patch of an existing recipe using DevTool modifier. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a patch of an existing recipe that we already have. It means that we are going to use our factorial recipe to create a patch. In patch or in DevTool modify, we don't change anything into the recipe file. I mean into the BB file, but we change the sources. We will make changes in the source files and then what we will do is we will test it on the target using deploy and undeploy and after that we will export the changes to the layer. I am writing here layer not the recipe because most of the time we the the modify after doing modification we transport or we export the changes to the layer not to the particular recipe that we will see in the further in this video I will explain it more so first of all let us see how it works <coughs> so in previous videos we have seen how to use add but in this video we are not using add instead we are using modify it means that the existing the recipe already exists that we want to modify so for that we take the recipe from the layer using this modify devtool modify subcommand so what it will do is it will fetch all the sources into the workspace after that we will make changes into the workspace and then we will test it into our target using deploy after you testing it uh, and if it works perfectly we will undeploy it and then we will finish the target and then we will finish our task it means that we will export our changes to the layer here we have to keep in mind is that in the add when we use finished uh, when we use dev tool finish after add we have to give a recipe folder for example meta tab layer recipe example but when using finish after modify we need to give only the layer not the recipe uh, folder if we give the same recipe folder uh, if we give the same layer folder in which the recipe already exists so the dev tool will modify that recipe it means that it will modify the bb file of the recipe if we give an other layer instead of the same layer then it will not modify the bb recipe file instead it will create bb append file into the other layer where the recipe does not exist now let us see the workflow so the workflow is first we execute dev tool modify and the name of the recipe then we will make changes into the recipe into the source file of the recipe then we will build it we will test it on the target then we will commit the changes and we will export it to the layer so let us source our environment first to source the environment we should be in the pokey folder and then here so now we have sourced the environment now we want to modify our factorial recipe so the command will be or we can also check the dev tool modify and help so here we can give the recipe and the source tree but our source tree is by default work sources but we'll give the recipe name so here we will give dev tool modify factorial <clears throat> so now here is our factorial folder we will go inside it sources and here if we go one step back and so here we do you see we don't have the recipe folder because we are not fetching the recipe from the external source we are not doing add we are doing 
modify that's why we don't have any recipe folder but we have appends folder if you see appends folder yeah right now there is a bb append dot this bb append file if we see it is right now it doesn't uh, have anything that uh, we can use so what we'll do is we will go back to our sources and here we have factorial and here are two sources the make file and the factorial file what I'm going to do is I'm going to make changes in our source file let us see here get status and nothing is here right now so what I will do now is I'll make changes here so it should say invalid input please enter positive integer so now we'll save it and we'll see the status once again and you see that it is modified now what we'll do is we'll build it and it should take these changes so we'll do dev tool build factorial so it has built it successfully now we will export it here's my machine SSH I have connect, uh, connected it via SSH so I will export or I will deploy using dev tool deploy to deploy factorial to my SSH and two dot one six eight dot seven dot two oh it is okay deploy target not deploy deploy target so now let us go here and see which factorial and we have factorial here now let us run factor factorial and now it says enter number we will enter the number which is less than zero we will enter minus three so it says here invalid input please enter the positive integer it means that our changes have taken place and now we can export the changes to our final recipe so we will do once more here undeploy to remove it So if we see here right now, there is no command found. Okay. Now again, now we want to finish. There are two things that I told you. Here, if we go to our Pocky folder, here is our Meta tab layer. We go inside it, Meta tab layer, and here we already have in recipes example. The factorial already exists so it already exists if I will do finish and I will give this meta tab layer as an argument it will modify this file and it will add it will add the changes here it will add it will create a folder and it will put the patch inside this folder and it will also create it will also add it here into the source URI the other thing what we can do is I have created an other layer using bitpick layers so it is here meta append layer I have created so if you go to meta 
append layer in recipe example so right now factorial does not the recipe factorial doesn't exist most of the time we are modifying the already existing recipe that a third person have created is something that we that the recipe already exists and we don't want to modify the actual recipe but we want to create the bb append for that so for that we create our own x one other another layer and then we add or we create the same folder and we put the bb append file into the new layer so this is our actually the already existing layer and here we have factorial and here we also have this bb uh, factorial underscore get bb but we don't want to touch this and this is the way this i would say this is the standard that we uh, follow because this is from someone else it will be from someone else if you are already changing making some patches for the already existing uh, recipe so we don't touch it instead we create our own layer and we create an append file so here we'll do the same so now here to finish it what we'll do is we'll do dev tool finish and then we'll give the name of the recipe and now we have to give the path of the layer not of the recipe but of the layer that we have created so here we have our meta the new layer that we have created the path of the new layer here and then enter okay yeah we forgot to commit so what we need to do now is we'll check git status and now we'll do git add factorial dot c now git commit and we'll give the the comment here it will be the suitable we, we all we should always give the suitable comment and it is edit error message or modified error message so now it the changes are there and then we will do again this source tree is not clean it says okay status get add factorial again get status get commit minus m once more modified error message okay get okay now once more we can try finish or we can force it force okay now it has added something to meta append layer so let us go to meta append layer and here inside recipes example example there is nothing why there is nothing let me check it let me check and I'll be back yeah maybe I found it because it says here meta append layer unable to find one two three four but here we need to go to one two three steps back that's why there was an error so now let us do it once more Okay, it also gives us a warning a specified let is not currently added to the BB layer it says that we should add this uh, 
our new append layer that we have used here to our pp layer.conf file let us see now let us go to meta append layer and here into recipe examples and here you can see that now we have one more folder named factorial and if we go inside this folder so here we have pb append file so now let us check this pb append file so in this pb append file we have this path and this yeah we have yeah to, to know please watch my video on uh, file extra path but here it has appended this patch and it has already created a patch for us if we go to the factorial folder here you see that the patch is here it says so it has removed a line and it has added a line with our changes so before we need to use we need to take care of this warning because it says we need to add this to our bb layer dot conf so that we can also do we can to do that we can do it manually here for example if i do like this and append so now if you build those changes will take place and will have that in our final factorial binary so this is all about to create patch using devtool modify i hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching